today we're going to deal with one of the most common things that I see suggested in chats and in YouTube comments is that if you're getting ready to get good at this game, the LFR is a good place to start. Let's figure out what exactly we can use the LFR for. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at the LFR brought in during the Cataclysm, during the Dragon Soul Raid. It has undergone so many changes over the years to what it is now, and what I often see in streams and YouTube comments and things like that, and Wowhead guides even, is that it's a great place as a stepping stone to get good. Now, we're going to assess that today and also figure out exactly what it is good for, but of course we need to figure out what it is bad for as well. So, number one, what is the LFR bad for? Unfortunately, the, f the thing it was originally designed to do, learning to raid. It is awful to learn to raid in the LFR. You are not going to get much out of this at all. And when I see people who are like, I'm going to do some LFR, I'm going to get used to the raid, then I'm going to apply to a normal, heroic, or, you know, moving up in the world. Uh, that's my goal. No, definitely not. What can you get out the LFR in terms of raiding? Well, you can get things like the shape of the room. You can see kind of graphically what some mechanic mechanics look like, but those mechanics are not going to act the way they're supposed to work, right? They're going to work very, very differently. Stone Legion Generals, things like that. All these mechanics that are in the fight, certainly as you move up in difficulty, will not work the same in LFR. Thereby, you're not going to be able to learn how to utilize them and do them properly. Uh, a great example of this would be Shriekwing. You are likely to see more blood on the floor in the LFR than you are on Mythic Shriekwing, which is crazy considering Echo Location is invisible on Mythic. Uh, but that is the nature of the beast. And the other thing is, LFR tends to develop its own LFR tactics. It's a very common thing. You'll see this a lot of things like Huntsman Ultimore. They will be dragging that boss around doing all sorts of crazy things to sort of overcompensate for the fact that people don't know what they're doing. And they'll come up with their own LFR strats. Now, you're not going to see that in normal, heroic, or mythic. It's never going to be done that way in ever. Uh, and it's going to give you bad habits, bad knowledge. It's going to trick you. It's going to mess you up. And this is where the entire idea of practicing in the LFR to learn to raid is just a generally bad idea. LFR is designed so that it can be completed by people who don't know what's going on. That should be enough as a statement in order for you to realize that this is a bad place to learn how to raid because it is designed to be unfailable. Uh, and it does have some failures, as we've all know. People have wiped in LFR and still continue to wipe to this day. But it is generally designed that it doesn't matter where you are in the ability spectrum. Personally, you should be able to collect completely random people, throw them in there, and they should win. Uh, so, learning to raid, unfortunately, I think, which was the original idea behind LFR, is to give people a nice, easy, queuable way of getting into the raiding scene. It is no longer that. Occasionally, we do have mess-ups like Nazoth, for example, which is unreasonably hard for that collection of people. But, generally speaking, if you're looking for the LFR to learn how to raid, that's a bad idea. That's not going to work. So, let's move on to the, the main part of this video. What is the LFR really good for? It's actually very useful for a number of things if you're prepared to utilize it in that manner. It's like a screwdriver. If you're trying to chop through boxes with a screwdriver, not very effective. That would be the learn to raid. However, uh, first things first is keybinding. Keybinding is really, really good practice. If you are a clicker and you want to learn how to keybind, the LFR is fantastic for that. What is not fantastic for that? Training dummies. Training dummies are actually not great at doing this. And it's where the first stop is for people who are trying to switch over from clicking to keybinding, which is a superior form of playing. Um, unquestionably, I'm not getting into that. It is. Uh, but it's a great way to actually learn to do this with mechanics. The problem with the training dummy is you can learn the muscle memory, right? And I pointed that out in a previous video. So you can start to get the muscle memory in your fingers of where certain buttons are on your keyboard. And that is easily the most difficult part of learning to keybind is being able to do it without looking and your finger knowing that if I go over there, that's going to cast a frost ball or this is going to happen here. The problem is, nothing happens at a training dummy. And I see people, and I've heard people, jumping around and pretending there's mechanics going on uh, in order to try and get over the next hump. Because the biggest failure people have when they're going from being a clicker to a keybinder is as soon as something happens in the game, like a meteor falling, some sort of movement thing happens, 
when that occurs is they default back to what they know which is then start clicking and for the remainder of the fight they'll they'll be clicking because they've just defaulted back to their standard play so a very common thing that i dealt with when i taught people to keybind probably like four years ago was that they would be really good at a training dummy and they could do their rotation perfectly uh, and then as soon as they got into like a raid environment or a dungeon environment they would hit that point where oh, oh i'm panicking a little bit start clicking and then for the remainder of the dungeon the remainder of the fight they would click the rest of it and then try and go back and then half and half it lfr is really good for this because yes you can pretend to do mechanics right you can do that in a very safe place that's the that's the whole idea of the lfr is it's a very safe place to kind of mess around and play around with your character a little bit so you can you can fail it's fine if your dps is low right you can fail as long as you're keeping up with what you're supposed to doing and not defaulting back down to, uh, to clicking uh, a very common thing I see with people who are, like, putting more pressure on themselves when going into the LFR is that they're trying to do well on the damage. They're trying to do well with whatever their role is, well on the healing. The chances are, in nearly all cases, you're actually fine if your damage is abysmally low and not to worry about it. It's more important that you train yourself to do the important thing because that's going to pay off much uh, much better for you long term. So, keybinding, if you're, if you're struggling with this, which a lot of players do, LFR is fantastic for that. Uh, another one for this is managing cooldowns. This is where most people fall apart and why their performance sucks. Uh, we talked about this in the DPS cooldowns basics, but LFR is a great place to learn this. Why? There is nowhere else in this game besides like uh, higher Mythic Plus keys, certainly on Tyrannical, where you have to use DPS cooldowns on your character twice. That very, very rarely happens. And it's where a lot of players come completely unstuck. So I wouldn't worry about your overall dps it's about this idea that you have all these cooldowns at the start of the fight so when you're doing rare mobs and even world bosses do not give you the opportunity to do this is that you have everything at the start and you bloodlust and you pop every cooldown and you're like yeah i'm popping off and then the, the thing dies and you did really well that's fantastic however as you start moving up and you start getting into more difficult content and better content at least in my opinion is that all falls apart because now you're dealing with cooldowns that have different timers so you three minutes and you two minutes and you one minute trinkets all this kind of stuff coming back at different times certainly when they're like a minute and a half or there's some sort of odd cooldown and managing that along with and the most important thing remember back at that dps basics is important phases coming up right even something and i see this a lot with frost mages is waiting a few seconds for the ad to spawn before you frozen orb because that's going to give you a significantly larger damage boost you're not going to find that in the open world you're very rarely going to find that even in mythic plus certainly if you're doing somewhat lower keys but in the lfr that's likely to happen very regularly you can look at in a dark vein there are ads spawning there and you will run into this scenario where you have this spell available and you know in your brain you should press it but now you're going to start getting used to the ideas that, okay, I need to hold that for a little bit. If I hold that for five seconds, ten seconds or whatever, now it's actually going to pop off in a really big way. And you're going to see yourself climbing the damage meters and you're going to see yourself improving in performance. And also, more importantly, you're going to see yourself learning to recognize the environment. There's a big problem that happens with so many players who are trying to get better at WoW is they stare at their bars. It's why we have things like Wii Chorus that track the important things near the middle of the screen is because we want to be able to look at the screen as a whole and see what's going on. Look at our boss timers. We go back to the boss timer basics. This is where this all starts to come together is you're like, okay, the ads are coming in like five seconds or the weakened phase is coming or this boss, is, I can see the boss health percentage. It's going to be immune in a few seconds like in Stone Legion Generals. But very often, if you're doing those fights on LFR, you'll see so many players who blow all their cooldowns on an immune enemy because they're attacking. They don't even realize what's going on. Uh, so you can start to manage this. If you go in with that mindset, is like, okay, I want to blow my cooldowns at the start because that's usually what happens. But now I want to think about the next time around because I don't get that opportunity going forward. Uh, the next one I would do a pie out is logging. So a lot of people struggle to find logs. Now, obviously, and I'm not going to dismiss this, pugging some sort of more difficult content, whether it be normal or heroic, is generally considered better. But logging yourself in LFR is not a bad idea. But why? It depends what information you get out of that. And this I would refer to our recent looking at a guild application. You remember recently I did a video where we dolled up a guild application in about 20 minutes. That guy immediately got a guild after we did that. And we went through some logs, right? We, we took some screenshots and we pulled the same information out of it that you would pull out of an LFR log. 
look at how I'm managing my cooldowns. The previous step we just did. You can see here I'm stacking my cooldowns appropriately. You can see my positioning here. You can see that I helped with certain mechanics. You can see that I understand things. Even though it's LFR, you can see I am taking part in these things. Uh, I am going to do a video on logging because I know a lot of people uh, are a little wary of this where we're starting to do these extra things outside of the game. But they're very important. And LFR is actually fine for this. This has worked thousands of times where people who are looking to get into a normal or a heroic guild have used the LFR after I gave them the advice to log themselves. It's all about what information you're pulling out of there. And as you can see from the previous two points... We're learning how to do that here. And the same rules apply whether it's normal, heroic, or mythic. It doesn't actually matter. The difficulty doesn't matter in terms of how you play your character. That remains the same throughout all of that content. So being able to pull that information out of LFR is a great first step that anybody can do any time of the day and get a good start, a good basis, and also see where you failed, right? This is the important thing. Did you see that you were like, oh, well, Bloodlust was cast there, and I did kind of know it was coming, but I didn't have anything ready for it. And I, next time, I need to be ready for that. Uh, and Side and Athreus would be a great example, because generally speaking, they Bloodlust in the last phase. Were you ready for that? Did you utilize that effectively, or did you blow all your cooldowns on a couple of ads uh, 30, 40 seconds beforehand? In your brain, you kind of knew uh, Bloodlust was coming later, and it's a much more useful time to have saved my cooldowns for 30 seconds in order to utilize that and you can see all those faults happening in the lfr the fourth and final thing lfr is really good for is actually the positioning of stutter stepping this is the, the other basic stuff that we've started to cover here is how to deal with mechanics whether it, whether it be shriek wings echoing location something along those lines halts more sin seekers how to deal with this and stutter stepping so it was great to see the feedback from um not only on twitter on the youtube comments about people uh, about how you move while maintaining dps and the fact that it's changed people's perspective on things that was great to see but lfr is also great to do that although lfr is again it's a safe place and you're not going to be killed if you get it wrong which is a great piece of knowledge to have with you in the lfr is you're not going to die if you get this slightly wrong but you can start to practice things, right? You can get in pre-position for certain things. Think about Hungering Destroyer, how to manage the soaking, and then moving back out with Consume, and then getting back into the fight. All those things are great elements that you can utilize the LFR for. With If you screw it up, it's not the end of the world. So Stole Legion Generals, cleansing your bleed. Barely anybody ever does that in LFR, because you can get away with it. That's the laziness and the apathy that we do want to destroy, and it's not going to help you going forward. You submit a log where, let's say we go back to the logging one we just did, and then they say, well, yeah, but you had the wicked blade bleed for like the entire fight. You didn't cleanse it. Whereas the reversal of that is, you can see I got Wicked Blade, I can see I needed to cleanse it here, uh, and I did it as soon as humanly possible, and then I managed to get back here, and then even though Wicked Blade doesn't like shred everybody, you can see I did position it correctly, all these things you can utilize, and I maintain DPS. <clears throat> Why? I was using my movement. I pre-planned where I wanted to be. There are loads of fights in the LFR where you can pre-plan where you want to be, how to deal with things, and you can utilize the LFR for that, where if you screw it up, that's fine as well. So I hope we walk away from this understanding that LFR... Uh, too many people look at LFR as either a step into raiding. It really isn't. The, the, the way these fights are dealt with in LFR is barely even resembling what would happen even in like normal in some cases and definitely not in heroic they wouldn't be anything like that whatsoever and absolutely mythic nothing like it whatsoever so learning to raid in there not a great idea but if you utilize it properly just like any tool it can be utilized for some really really good useful things that will accelerate your progress in game massively so uh, that's what i want you guys to focus on <laughs> i can't talk <laughs> <laughs> it's early man <laughs> it's early um thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed that it's great to get in there and see people saying like oh you know lfi is bad for rating bad for rating yeah it's not great for rating and all those kinds of things it's actually great for a number of other things if you know what you're looking for and know what you're going in to do and also to practice 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 because practice makes everything in this game i saw a number of people suggesting like how do you how do you make friends and stuff Honestly, the best advising of you is play well. If you play well in World of Warcraft, it opens so many more doors for you because people recognize that and they want to play with you again. It's as simple as that. People want to play with people who do well because it makes their life easier as well, right? Thank you so much for watching. And check out our website. and We've got some awesome shirts and stuff available for you. And of course, everything on here is supported by our website supporters. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.